right, so welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. So this is just me uh, having a bit of fun uh, last night. Decided I was going to take uh, my maidens into Lean Wu Fortress as well as uh, some Nam Kansas and Longboats. That little wall that those guys are climbing climbing up, I, I, I've been trying to put Longboats up there for a while, but the first few matches I've tried, I tried are, uh, the... Uh, we couldn't seem to take it, you know. So I figured I better bring some maidens in to help take the walls, so that I can go have some longbow fun. Uh, so this is the first match where I'm using the maidens, but I've played like maybe two, three rounds of this already. Um, this is the first one I'm really trying to to assist in the capture, whereas before I was just trying to get archer rounds in and not succeeding very well because I didn't know the map so if you're going to learn the map you probably should actually play it a bit on uh, with an infantry unit so anyway I come up here and I, I look at this situation I decide that it's just too damn narrow uh, that staircase to get up there with a the charge uh, I take a look and I realize like ah, that's probably a big idea and I think this this mall had the same idea as me because he turned around and left the same time I did so we both decided at the same time that that wasn't worth the uh, effort only I decided to go back around on the wall where I can get a clean charge. And I think he took off to the supply point. So now, on my left, you're going to see there's um, what looks like a, a, a longbow unit as well as a a, a, a javelin unit climbing up behind me. I tried to look for a kill, uh, see if I get a shot off there, but I decided to save it. So now these cudgel munch are going to come in, and I'm not too worried about them, so I just go right into cover me. I know that the maidens shouldn't have any trouble taking them down. Short quiet, short blows shoot in, but like I said, I, I there's, those javelins were behind me, so I knew I was supported. I think uh, I go into a line here. One of the things about maidens uh, is to know when to go into a line. Like, I was taking a bit of damage, and they don't have a self-heal, so I wanted to put them in a line so I get a chance to throw a bit of heals on. Like, I prefer to use them as a as a charge unit, but um, I, I'm also really good with my stalwarts and my walls, so this is kind of like one of those units that I get the best of both worlds, man. When I want to charge, I can charge. When I want to, you know, wall up, I can wall up. And I, I'm using the, the sword uh, lines, the bottom line. So again, I just wall up, and having that clash of shields is nice too, because I just roll through here like this, allow those uh, uh, javelins to work. I do make a little bit of a mistake here. I, I want to charge, but uh, I go into the the I go into the formation, and then I hit the sword button, and they all want to. They all want to start going off on their own, so I had to very quickly charge them and, and use my nightly vows. What I should have done was uh, switch them to swords first and then immediately tell them to go into formation and they would have come back. And then I could have aimed the charge better, but it, it worked out. But, but uh, I like to let them have a bit of a run up so that the nightly vows fully you know, gets them up to speed. And, and that's a 25% boost when you're doing that. Remember, the whole purpose of this is for me to get uh, my longbows and my, my nam cans into action later. But I still got them, and I still got a, almost a full unit, or if not a full unit, sitting there. Um, and so I think, well, I may as well just keep going. So I go down the stairs with the rest of them. And I'm willing to take these guys on. But they decide they're not going to, they take, turn around. But I know I can catch them. So I come up behind, order the charge, and hit the nightly vows, and man, in they go. Top freaking speed. Bam. Hit that uh, shield bass skill. And because I'm on the bottom line, they've got a 30% uh, armor pen bonus on, on their sword, so I just muscle in here. Switch to spear. I go, I go back and forth between spear and sword so often and so rapidly, especially when I see these horses coming in. I need to go an extended line of the spears. Because it, it's funny, they're they're really effective in the spear mode, and I have zero points in that line. So I mean, how effective would they be if I had, you know, 
all points of that. And again, I just switched immediately to sword and charge. And it's a, it's quick, you know. If you, get, if you can get those those button presses down quick, you can be flipping back and forth between spear and sword and, and getting the best of both worlds so both worlds so incredibly fast. I'm already at 91 kills, three to one, uh, three to one kill rate right now. But I figure at this point, I think, okay, I've, got, I've done what I wanted to do. I just go and put these guys away now. And I pulled it wrong, goes the next next minute or so. I'm pull it. But this time I kind of wanted to be sure that, you know, because every time I tried to put the longbows up there before, someone always came along and, and wrecked me. So I'm not. I'm, I'm used to playing uh, with my buddy Lancer. Like we're so used to just knowing what each other is doing that I, I don't. I don't have a problem. But when I play solo, it's like okay, I got to rethink my strategy because I'm so used to having that extra guy. Like if if I'm dropping a unit down somewhere, I know he's right beside me doing the doing something that that supports that, right? I don't even need to think about it. But now that I'm, I play solo when uh, Lancers are working and shit like that, that I have to, you know, find new ways to play. So I'm, I'm about 100 uh, meters away and the longbows are just shooting in there. I try to direct the fire a little bit. Like I, uh, but I, this is not a good spot. I can't see in there. So I know I eventually decide to go forward. But right now I'm just trying to test the angle. Now that I can actually set up here without getting wrecked. And I'm just counting the numbers up. Now the thing about that, that shield wall I'm shooting at is is I don't get a lot of kills shooting at them. Right? But I am doing damage. And as long as I'm doing damage, I figure that's okay. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just, because this is, I haven't really played this map a lot. I'm trying to check angles. So I just want to see, like, where would the best angle be? And I come down here, I think I'm going to go forward to, to direct fire, and I really, ah, I don't really like these three sitting down here, so i got to go pick a new angle. Because, again, ultimately this, this, this match was for me to figure out how to, where to put the longbows to get the most out of them. So, uh, so this is probably the best angle. I'm moving there because I saw that guy building a cannon, but I think uh, that friendly glaive came up and convinced him not to. Oh, he did put the cannon up. Yeah. And then I think the glaive goes up and takes it out. I was getting ready to put that down to, to take his cannon out, but like I said, the glaive came up there and showed him he was in error. I decided to go to melee mode because I know I'm wasting around shooting at that shield wall. But when those guys come up on the top, I, I switch back. Then I gotta start directing fire. My command, loose. Stand ready. Units assemble. Fall in. So I decide now I'm going to go and uh, get up there close and direct fire because I, I want to shoot past the... And then I see these guys. I want to be able to shoot past the, the point. And I know I can arc them in. I'm like, oh crap, how do I get my guys out of here, right? That's the one problem with this area. Is that uh, you're kind of trapped up there if you're on that zone. So my, you can see my guy's shadow running off. But I just don't make it in time. I try to delay uh, them from killing my boys, but... Slaughter them! You know... You couldn't, you couldn't do it. So I decide I'm going to take the nan cans. Now I know that there's a spot I can shoot at the uh, at the point over here, uh, but I've never been there yet. I just know that you can do it because when I was defending the point once, guys were doing it to me. So I figured, okay, I'll go find this spot that I know is there. It's on these. Uh, I think it's on these uh, uh, kind of walkways. And I realized, nope, this isn't the walkway I was looking for. It's up to the left where that guy, the unit's coming. 
map knowledge is so key. You don't realize how, how key that is until you start playing on a new map and you got to start learning all the ins and outs of it. So I come up here and I think, okay, I can probably get up on that on this hill, but it's, it won't do it. It won't let you up there. But luckily enough, there's already a wall sitting here, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll just uh, park in behind this guy. Archers, stand ready! Don't really want them right forward, but... Archers, stand ready! And I got the, the blood arrows on, and I... I like to come forward a bit, because then I can really direct the fire. I just drop it at my feet, right? Like, if I can leave my, my, my archers in a, in a spot where it's very difficult for them to get at... I'll go for it because it's much, much easier to, to direct their fire if I can just drop the, the number one ability or the number three ability, which is the blood rain. Yeah, my feet there. And back. And then the goes off. Because I do love the napkins for that. I mean, if they just sit there and cause you to bleed and think about life. All the mistakes you've made. Loose! Yeah. <laughs> so. I like having this this guy's uh, walls in here because I can just duck in and out of it. So we won. It was a really quick little map. I, I liked it. I like to really mix up my my play like that. Uh, as you can see, I did did all right. Um, got a lot of good kills there. Um, was MVP, which is funny. I didn't think I would be, but um, I guess I played better. I guess I sucked a little bit less than everybody else. But we, it was all right. Like I liked, I liked, uh, I liked getting that that mixed play in. But uh, I hope you liked it too. And uh, take care. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.